guys, I am very excited to review for you today the Pet Zone self cleaning litter box. First off, we're going to start with installation. So let's get right into it. You're going to have your litter tray here, and then you are going to take the motor unit and then just come up here. We've got our clutch lock. You're going to unlock it just like that. And then just come over here to the side of the litter pan. You are going to align it with this top edge. It's going to look a little something like this. And then on the motor unit, come back to that clutch lock and you're going to now relock it. There we go, motor's ready to go. Now you're going to take your waste unit here, bring it along this side where the motor unit is, and then just push down until you hear a distinct click. The latch should be here in this position. Now we're gonna take the litter rake and you're going to stick it right here onto the waste unit. There is a hole here that the straight side is going to go into. And now on this side, you're going to take the little white litter rake latch and you're going to hold that. That opens it up. And this allows you to stick the curved edge of the litter rake right in here. All right, there we go, that's secure. And now close up the latch cover. The waste deflector here is super easy. It's just going to go right here in the groove at the end of the litter box, just like that. Now take the cord on the motor unit. You're going to plug it into the main and power supply. Now take the cord collar here. There's going to be a slot on the underside of the litter pan. So right here is our motor and where the cord is originating from. And then right here is the slot. This is gonna look a little something like this right here. And now to install the bag. So you're going to take your bag here, take the waste tray, slide it on just like this, creating a divot here in the pan so that waste can easily accumulate. And then just take your bag here and tuck it under the handle. And then obviously when it is full, you're just going to slide the bag right back off and closing the waste as you do so. And now we'll stick the litter tray back in just like this. And then take the carbon filter here. There's a slot right here on the lid. You're literally just gonna poke it right in like that. And it is recommended to keep the odor to a minimum to replace the carbon filter here every time you change out the litter. And by the way, about the litter tray here with the waste bags, if you've got a decent sized grocery bag, you can in fact use that in place of this bag. Great option and very minimal effort. Close that up. And now it's time to pour in our clay clumping litter. That's that's what's most recommended. The fill line is here, so the lower line is the minimum and the higher one is the maximum line. So we'll just pour it in like so. All right, all filled up. And now the last thing to do is plug it in. From here, just come to the power button. And now it's just doing its thing. So right there, that's how it cleans. So it rakes it up and sticks it in the waste unit. So do keep in mind, if you couldn't tell, it is a little bit of a loud device when in use. Now it will turn to green solid and it is waiting for cat activity, which it might be getting sooner rather than later. So it is set to monitor for a cat and then it'll clean 30 minutes after your cat leaves. As you can see, it's currently doing this green blinking because it detected my cat. And this light here will continue to blink until it cleans 30 minutes after it started. And as for how often you should clean out everything. So first off, it's best to clean the bag, replace that every week. And as for the litter, it's recommended that you replace the whole thing once a month. Mainly that is to keep down odor, especially since the litter here is so exposed. So you're definitely gonna wanna do that. Otherwise it definitely can get a little bit smelly and that's not fun. Also, I'm gonna take you through the cleaning process one more time. I like that you can sort of do it manually just by turning it off and then turning it back on. And I'm gonna show you how close it gets to the bottom of the pan because we've noticed sometimes that um, waste can get stuck on the rake portion and not make it into the litter bag and it also stays closer to the surface. So let me show you. Okay, here's it doing its thing and then it goes in like that. And one more time, so you see how it goes down. And if I stick my finger here, I can feel that it's not going to the very bottom, but it does get close, so I will say that. And now another thing to keep in mind is that it may have trouble sensing on some occasions. Thankfully that hasn't really been an issue here, but when that happens, you're gonna wanna clean the sensor. But for the most part, it should clean very well. So overall, I'd say it can just be a little bit finicky sometimes. You're just going to want to make sure that you're cleaning it out well enough, both the sensor and the unit itself. And that should solve the majority of your problems. The pan here is also very large, great for all size cats. And even if the litter gets stuck, you do get this tool right here that can easily scrape it out if that occurs. It's designed to go right here between the grooves, which is really cool. So yeah, might not be perfect, but there are definitely steps you can take if you have any issues. And overall, I'd highly, highly recommend this self-cleaning litter box and so would my cat. <laughs>